Hey everyone, Lensman Oz and the kids here, and we're in for another episode of Nuts and Bolts. This is episode four. Say hello, children. Hi! Hi. Greetings. So, Manx has obviously been in the liquid sunshine again. He has a, a glue. Um, yeah, buddy, I did this in the last episode. Sorry you went here. Anyway. Rightio, let's look into what we were doing. So last episode we finished up with the coke oven and I was making the block of coal coke to hand in the quest. So we should be able to hand that one in. Yep, it's highlighted. We're going to get 16 coal coke as a reward. Nothing real flash about that, but anyway. Uh, so I've been working through the, the trying to get the CF powder. I've set up another bee house here. We've got three. I uh, wasn't sure if they needed flowers, so to speak. I know when you go to an apiary, it'll tell you when it needs flowers. Uh, so I just put a couple of blocks of stone here, just in case. Again, wasn't too sure. Uh, I went and did some hunting of beehives in the mining dimension, because if you remember from a couple of episodes ago, when I was there, we there's a lot of rocky hives on top of the world, because it's more of a stone world. So grabbed a few more, got a ton of bees now. If you look in my apiarist's bag here. Tons of bees, lots of them rocky, obviously. I uh, got 16 drones. Uh, I got another 11 cones, I think it was. They're currently processing in the centrifuge, which chews through power like it's going into fashion. But we've only got 23 and I need like 60, 60 I think it is. Because we need 10 CF powder. And if you remember, the CF powder requires 6 stone dust each. So we need 60 stone dust. We've got 23. That's not going to happen this episode. I'm just going to let that continue processing and hopefully we'll get a few more. Worst case, I'll go and do another run through the, the mining age. There's still tons of uh, hives there that I can get to. But... Yeah, not, not heaps. Uh, I can't remember if I did the, the walkthrough of Jamarella's new house in the last episode, but it's looking pretty good out through the window there. Uh, I believe she plans to do houses all along the area there. You're kind of making a village for us, aren't you? Yeah. And how are you going, dragon? All right. Your house is still looking like a hole in the wall. No. <laughs> what are you up to this episode? Not much. Not much? Thanks. How about you? Mm, I don't know. Your house out in the ocean there looks um, mm. interesting. Probably needs some support unless you're going to go the whole Minecraft physics, everything borders on uh, pivoting on my stairs. But anyway. Yeah. The server is now on peaceful mode. I don't have to keep enabling peaceful mode. We're leaving it in peaceful mode for now. Uh, we did just run into an issue where Dragon needed some bones, so she cheated them in. Um, but I w it will go back to... Ow! It will go back to at least easy mode a little bit later. We're more for, you know... I like the creative aspect here where we're building stuff and I don't like fighting off hordes of zombies. It's not fun. I can I can kill myself just, <laughs> just by falling off something. I don't need a, a zombie to chase him. Chase me and, and, and bite me or anything. Alright. So, I wanted to get into the next quest, which was a blast furnace. Now, you can see here, the blast bricks take a lot of material. And I went through and I made up all these materials and I went, oh, yep, yep, great, got everything. And then I realized that this is only giving you one. So I was working under the impression of the normal recipe where each of your crafts of blast bricks gives you two items. This one gives you one. Um, which is terrible because it actually means instead of needing 56 iron plates, I needed, what, 112? Um, and 112 of these non-conductive tiny plates. And 28 because the, the quest calls for 28. Uh, 28 of these Kamenite bricks. So Kamen... No, try hitting the right thing. Kamenite bricks requires um, 
seared stone basically and then these Kamenite bricks which are Kamenite blend either in a furnace or on a drying rack I, I chose a drying rack because it's cheaper and that's just clay and bone meal so I had enough bones from when it was on uh, when the server wasn't on peaceful for, to make up enough uh, Kamenite bricks and you can see I've got like drying racks all along the top of the, the the building here so I think I've got everything I need in here I need to just craft a couple of more items up here's the 56 seared bricks from the second lot of um, grout that I smelted up we've got 28 seared bricks and a bunch of Kamenite so that's 14 and that should give us our 28 Kamenite bricks like so we'll take them out just put them back in the chest now I needed the iron plates so I think I need just one or two more I've got 56 here oh no I've got nine I need another what 47 or 45 because I've got these two iron plates here which I want to use up so we'll make and I don't want to shift click this in case I do something wrong and it all goes pear shaped so if you're wondering why I'm just left clicking them through uh, let's do these last 10 like this okay now we also are going to need some more of these non-conductive tiny plates because I've got 40 and obviously I need 112 like I said before uh, so they require these tiny plates so non-conductive tiny plate is made by tiny plates around obsidian and 8 plus the obsidian gives you 8 tiny plates are just a redstone circuit from super circuit maker made into you know just straight in the crafting table you get 8 and to make them, you get 12 when you put some stone slabs together. I'm not sure if I still have a few of these lying around. Worst case, I've got some stone in my inventory. Oh, here they are here. So let's make... What did I need? I needed 56. So this was this was the original plan was I was going to make these last two uh, on camera like that. But turns out I need... A bunch more because that's still only 32 need another 56 so I'm gonna need at least there's one two more so I need at least two more of them so one two and then I will need two more obsidian which should be in this chest okay so that should give us that I should now be able to get these Kamenite bricks put them in there and this like so one two three four five six okay that's 14 And here's another 11 and then we should be able to do this awesome that should be our 28 blast bricks now I am going to need to make another one of those immersive engineering hammers so I should have some industrial hemp here cool because I need to form the multi-block let's head outside uh, you can see here I've put in a ender IO fluid tank on the side of the coke oven just to extract the creosote out so we can um, so it can run a little bit longer because we you know creosote's just going to back this up um, I'm thinking I kind of want to put it one away from here um, just so I can I can't automate the the basic one I can automate the the next tier up though so debating whether I should actually 
convert it to the other type, which requires literally, I know, requires steel plates. So no, I can't convert it over. Let's just build the one we got, which will be 27. And I don't, I need to make myself another all-in-one tool because we broke it. Yep, this will do. Like so. Cool. One crude blast furnace. And again, as I said before, it will not be automatable. I believe it should do things the way I want it to. So let's, let's make a block of iron. I'm hoping I can do this. Let's get through the door. Looks like my beehives have stopped working. Right, cool. Back in there, please. Oh, one more rocket comb. Another one there. Awesome. So we are now producing steel, and it's going to take a while because I've done it in block format. But the quest calls for three. This will give us nine. And then hopefully that will unlock this. It should unlock this one as well, but this is pretty full on. Apparently aluminium is stronger than steel. Oh no, titanium. Construct a crusher to break the iron down and extract titanium. Wow, that's going to take a lot because this is probably going to be quite fun to create. Uh, but it'd be good to be able to do tinkers. That would be nice. I don't believe there's any of these things. Uh, there is these things open, but I don't have any of that stuff. And I probably don't think we'll get anywhere near that yet. Uh, so let's look. As I said, this gonna, so we're up to 13%. It's not too bad. Let's ditch. No, don't hit things with the hammer. Let's put that in there. Uh, we'll put these in here. Again, just chewing on some uh, bitumous coal we've got there. The dried peat is going well. I've got some lignite coal in there, and we've got a fair bit of banded iron, which I just picked up from the mining dimension. Knowledge bringer, what does that give you? What were you doing at the time you got that one, Dragon? I picked up a flower from actually additions. Really? Then turned it into black dye. Oh, uh -huh. well there you go. I got a book and opened it. Oh, you opened the actually additions book. Let me see. Yep. Hey, look, I got it too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that these things... I collecting flowers to turn into dye. I'm not sure whether this, I think they have, I think they've like, like canola, I think they've cranked all the, the recipes up. Well, maybe not. That one's still pretty standard, but the Atomic Reconstructor requires titanium sheets. So you can see where they've, and stone burnt from extra utilities and mana glass from Britannia. So I can't even generate power using canola without going through a bit of forestry, without going through some uh, some Britannia and, wow, titanium sheets. So I'm going to need to do a bit of advanced rocketry maybe and extra utilities. So there's a lot of stuff that this has been gated behind, which... Unfortunately, you know, for us at the moment, it makes it really hard, but should extend our gameplay a fair bit. You can see here, we'll be getting into a generator from IC2. So if I type in generator, that requires some iron plates, a machine block, which requires aluminium rods or enriched alloy from mechanism. So 
Yes, we need to continue unlocking things down the path we're on to be able to get back to there, I think. I think this is the way we're going to be going down this route and then back to here. Uh, CF powder also gives us reinforced stone. Yep, fun and games. Lots of things to, to jump through. There you go, 47%. All right, I'll cut here. We'll wait until this gets up to 100%. Uh, and when we come back, we'll hopefully be able to hand that quest in as well. And we'll see what it unlocks. Back in a second. All right, the blast furnace has finished. I have converted it to, looks like IC2 steel ingots. We got nine slag at the same time as that. So I should now be able to hand in Blast Furnace. Now that you have the coke dust, it's time to bring it all together and construct a Blast Furnace. Yes, I've done that. We have claim rewards and we're going to get a steel block as a reward. And it didn't unlock what I thought it was going to unlock, which is nasty. What do we need to actually make the tool forge? Whoa. Yikes, energetic alloy, mana steel, or still need dense steel plates. Block of aluminium brass. Really? Well, that's nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. And a block of night slime. Wow. Controller. Requires a block of coal coke for a smeltery controller. Also requires the furnace controller, which requires an iron furnace, which isn't that bad. I mean, we could possibly make this. We should be able to get the coal coke now. Maybe we could make ourselves a smeltery. Uh, what was the, the patterns were weird too, weren't they? Treated sticks. Meh. That's not that bad. So the next thing it's unlocked is making the um, scaffolding and stuff here, but I don't think we have enough power generated at the moment to do that. So at immersive, can I make the water wheel? Yes, I can. Now that I have steel, I should be able to make this water wheel or even the windmill but I think there was it was this that was holding me back wasn't it coils just copper wire that's not that bad sturdy casing we could make this one and aluminium I don't think I have aluminium ore. I've got some bauxite. Can I do anything with this? Can I put it in there? Can I put it in here? No. So Okay, so that's where we're at. We're at the point where I can't... Can't use uh, bauxite straight into uh, ingots. We're going to need to go around that. So maybe... What do they want? Light engineering is... Some iron, some copper, that's all right. The redstone one needs dawnstone plates, which requires dawnstone ingots, which requires gold and copper in a metal alloy. Okay, which requires dawnstone. That's right, I think I found that in the last one. Any other way is... Melting Dawnstone Nuggets, mixing. Molten Copper. 
in an embers centrifuge. Yikes, mechanical core, lead plate. That's not that bad. That requires us to get into embers. And thus the rabbit hole deepens. Okay, uh, give me a few minutes. I'm going to try and get enough stuff to make a smeltery. It's going to probably take me a bit of time, but I think we can do it. I think we're at that point where we should be able to make a tinker's smeltery. I hope I'm not jumping the gun any. I can't make the casting of the tool forge yet, but I can make basic tools, which would be nice, I think. Let's, can I make... It was the patterns that was holding us back from making the stencil table and stuff before, but we've got treated wood now. And we've got a fair bit of creosote so I can make more treated wood with some coal. So I'm just worried that they've changed some more of the smeltery block recipes. So we've got the drain is just, no, that's fine. Tank is the same. Faucets are the same. Casting table and basin are the same. It was just they changed the controller, so we just require the um, furnace controller, which is an iron furnace, which iron plates and a furnace. So let's make ourselves another one of these crazy furnaces and stuff. I'll try and get a smelter set up just out here. So yeah, give me a few minutes. I'll be back. Ready, we are back. I should have what I need. These furnaces are still going strong. Well, let's see if we can do this. I have the iron furnace, which, as you remember, was just the iron plates around a normal furnace. We should be able to convert this to a seared furnace controller. I've got a block of coal coke here. I should now be able to do this and get a smeltery controller. We're also going to require oops, a tank and then table, perhaps a basin, and we shall also require at least, I could probably get away with one if I do this right, a drain and a, a faucet, and then we're going to need some blocks. So I've got, as I said, I've got some more smelting up in here. I might convert these over to the actual iron furnaces eventually. I'm going to need you. Awesome. I'm going to actually leave this one out of the ground, I think. I want to make just a small one like this. And if I put the fluid tank here, we can put the smeltery tank on top thinking I'll put this here and then if I do, do I have uh, some granite, terrible stuff that it is, I should be able to put this and then I want to put the drain here. didn't form did it or has it no see it's saying it's hmm I was hoping that would work swap you out hey dad hey what Look. Hey, there we go. Uh, guess what? You're throwing snowballs at me. That's not very nice. They're harmless. Right, so we have a smeltery. It's only a small smeltery. can only hold four blocks at once, but we can always go up a little bit once we get some more blocks here. 
uh, and then we can put our uh, actually you need two faucets I don't know why I made one I'm gonna put you there and I'm gonna put this one here All right so the next thing we're gonna need is the tables in which to make patterns to make our stuff so I've got some paper we have some treated wood planks here so this is now functional all I need to do here is go output to the top and it will fill up the tank with lava and then let's make no I haven't made the paper yet okay Is that the what am I thinking of? Oh, it's sticks. I don't need just it's treated sticks. Not treated wood. That's fine. Derp. Okay, let's do the last one. I don't know why my mouse is jumping all over the place today. It's a little bit weird. Okay, so I guess there's your standard patterns. You've got the part builder. We have stencil table. The pattern chest. And last but not least, tool station. Awesome. And because I'm going to put these outside, I'm going to make another crafting station. Apparently I just got a whole bunch of uh, achievements because I hadn't unlocked the basic one of making a crafting table. Right, station, tool station, uh, part builder, pattern chest, stencil table, stencils. We can now make materials for tinkers picks and that sort of stuff so pickaxe I'm hoping they haven't like killed everything in here we can make flint cool so that should be good we could make one in a bone whatever the flint's probably the easiest one to make at the moment and then we can start leveling it up as we get the ability or I can make one out of cobble and perhaps we can get some uh, either some gold or let's check can I make can I make bronze in here that will be something I need to know uh, bronze is just copper and tin right bronze from memory smelting alloying copper tin good three copper you sure I had some tin? Uh, is it? That's no, here. Tin. Please make bronze because that will definitely help us. Copper, tin. Come on. So we're now melting tin. I'm only getting one. It's not, so obviously the smeltery is not set up to double. But that's okay. We can work around that. If we can make some bronze. That enables me to be able to make oh yeah that lets me be able to make some of the forestry machines that we're going to need so I could do with a um, gives me four ingots excellent I could do with a carpenter to be able to make an apiary so we can go to the next level of bees cool one and we could probably make tool heads out of this we'll need some ooh. Ooh, there's an idea. Can I melt bauxite? Yep. Aluminium. No need to. Uh, well, I guess the the progression is uh, for titanium, but we can now produce aluminium, so I can make. Uh, aluminium brass. My patterns. 
copper. So three aluminium, one copper. Two of them, one of them. We can make patterns. How you going there, buddy? Are you making stuff? You already into making tools? Mm -hmm. I'm making a sword. Cool. I need a cobble. Cobble pickaxe head. Oh, let's just grab a stack of cobble. Uh, so we have the part builder. Using the part builder for a second. One of them. Cool. Can I put this here? We can make a pickaxe head cast. Excellent. I can make one out of bronze. Very nice. There you go. Getting there with your sword. It says tool rod. You actually need to make a tool rod these days. You can't just make a stick. Uh, it so sucks. You, you've got the tool rod pattern. Don't make it out of cobble. That would be terrible. There you go. You got one? Make it out of wood. Oh, you got your sword? Excellent. And then I'm going to make... I just need ooh, one more thing. I don't know why I closed out of that window there for a second. That was silly. I should be able to just switch between and make a binding out of wood. And then I can make a a bronze pick. I don't know. What am I going to call it? I can't think of a name. Someone name my pick. Go. Kids? No? Badentia. Uh. Can you spell that? <laughs> ba. B-A. D-E. What does it mean? Badentia. I just made it up on the spot. Well, that'll I do. I had then. bad and magenta. Oh, badentia will do. There you go. We've got the uh, a bronze pick. Oh, and we've got XP on it. So that will level up. Excellent. We've got Tinker's tool leveling, leveling in here, obviously. But we can now make alloys. We can now make tools. And I'll just make this thing a little bit bigger so we can get some more stuff in there. And bronze is a thing, so we can now make some more of these um, uh, forestry machines. Excellent. Things are coming along, all from just getting that last little bit, you know, over the line there. One, two, two of them, and I still needed that. So I guess something that, that I'd kind of forgotten or, or just you know misremembered, I'll, I'll call it, is that oh, I need one more. That this pack, the book isn't a, a letter for letter what you must do. It's more of a guide, so I really should have been probably able to do this a little earlier and um, get into some more of this stuff but again this doesn't all double so we need to work on power we need to work on all doubling and a few other really it we was tag just the, the joys of pvp being on um we yeah. tag justice justice for what he, he killed her earlier uh, whatever it's coming back. He has a sword. Um, right. <clears throat> so I'm going to wrap up here. I'm going to attempt to work out what I should be doing next. Probably in the way of this dawn stone. Hopefully we can make dawn stone now with this. I'm thinking we can, which was dawn stone was. No, it doesn't look like we can actually. Interesting. So the melter here has copper and gold, but if I put Oh, I'll have to look into it. If I can make Dawnstone in, in that, which I don't think I can, that would be nice. But um, things being what they are, it's probably limited to doing it with embers, in which case I'll have to learn some embers. I'll throw this in there and see what happens. 
But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please leave those comments in that area where you can type on whatever device you're typing on. And I hope you... Really, kids? <laughs> really? I was about to wave! And I can't make Dawnstone in the smeltery, so it'll have to be somewhere else. Alright, wrapping up. Kids are fighting, apparently. At least they do it in Minecraft and not in real life, I guess. Bye, Jay Morelli. <laughs> and we'll see everyone in the next episode. Say goodbye, kids. Bye! <laughs> Bye! See you, everyone.